Hey sneak peekers, it's Sydney at the red carpet of the Problem with People at Austin Film Festival. I wanted to start off with what was your inspiration for the film? Well, my inspiration came from the script to start off with. So my inspiration from the look of the film was to make Ireland feel like a place that was real and not edge into stereotype. There's lots of sort of movies out there that may be a little bit twee and I was trying to show an authentic island and do that in a way that sort of embraced the fact that it's not always sunny, that uh, sometimes there's big moody clouds and that's a romantic thing to show. So that was my inspiration really was to use Ireland authentically. I mean, honestly, I was inspired by Paul because he wanted to tell this story set in Ireland and he's got such a great, funny way of writing. I was inspired by our collaboration. I was inspired by Ireland. I mean, it's a, such a beautiful country and we really wanted to tell a story that shined the appropriate gorgeous light on them. Any specific films or shows that you looked to when you were thinking about how you wanted to direct the film? Uh, well, I did a lot of research into Irish movies to start with. They're, people say this is a little bit like uh, a, a sort of slightly more upbeat uh, Banshees of Ennis Um It's a bit more a sort of love. But uh, I looked at um, a lot of the Irish movies and things like Waking Ned, um, and things like uh, The Commitments, uh, The Field, all of those. I took little bits of, um, just sort of little bits of atmosphere and ambiance from those different films and tried to sort of imbue it a little bit in. The reason I made the film was twofold. One, I wanted to make my version of Local Hero. Two, I wanted to go to Ireland. So I got to do all of that. The, the joy was it lived up to everything I had hoped. And so the people were just joyful and sweet. And it's a very, you know, the vibe on the set shows on the, on the film. I mean, we were having a great time. And it's a comedy. And it's a really feel-good comedy. And, you know, these, it's about two idiots who sort of go at each other. But... Uh, they're on there trying to be better than they are. What are you hoping that viewers take away from the film when they watch the movie? Uh, that's a, a really good question too. Um, you know, the movie is about why can't we get along? You know, we're all just people. Especially now more than ever, the world feels so fractured. And, you know, I have young children, and I think about what, what kind of world are they going to be living in? We're all just people. So if everybody was maybe a little kinder, a little more sensitive, a little nicer to each other, maybe, you know, we're not going to heal everything, but we could heal one little thing. That's what I hope people think about. And I hope they laugh. <laughs> When uh, people watch my film, I'd like them to come out with a real sense of feel good. It's about sort of the, um, it's kind of like how people go head to head. It's the problem with people and problems all around the world are basically down to people. And the way to resolve that is through talking. And people can resolve those problems. So I want to come away and maybe it's reflect on their own lives thinking, hmm, is there a family member that I've fallen out with? Is this necessary? Should I go and say? it up and you probably should. Do you have any specific memories from the set that you? Yeah, uh, well every day, every day was joyful. Um, you know, my, my younger son, my whole family was with me and my younger son was a PA on the, on the show. So that was a nice thing, getting to work with him. And you know, he, I had never seen him work. And I went, oh, you're really a great worker. I wouldn't know that from watching you at home. You know, it was, so that was, that was a personal victory. And on the set, we all had a good time. You always hear movies like the fights and there was problems like, no, we didn't have any of that. We just had a great time going to work and our director, Chris Cottom, is a very joyful, funny guy. And it just, uh, we all left kind of sad to be going home. Finally, as film students, we want to know if you have any advice for future filmmakers. As film students, do I have any teacher? Well, I wasn't a film student, I was an English major. And my advice is to uh, persevere and don't be an asshole. Number one, it's never been easier to jump in and make a movie. So make shorts, don't wait, make, make sure you do things. And number two, keep going. You know, I, I think so many people in any. Uh, part of the creative arts hit a little bit of a roadblock and say, well, this is too hard or it takes too long or it's, it's not where I wanted it to be. But suddenly, if you get through the 87 drafts or whatever we did, it's not far off, you wind up here with the movie. So do it and keep going and the world needs your voices more than ever.